Hey Cancers, Yana Speaks here, and in this video I am doing your March monthly reading. This will be the third reading for this month. So I feel like, you know, you guys should like give me a pat on the back. Like I did three readings for y'all this month. Anyways, so let's start off by asking Spirit, what is your overall energy? What is the overall energy for my Cancers? All right, so your overall energy is the Four of Cups reverse. So I feel like in love, you guys may have been feeling ignored. Maybe you were feeling like, you know, this person was rejecting you. Um, maybe you felt like this person didn't care. But I feel like with the Four of Cups being reversed, you're slowly coming out of this energy. So it could be that you're slowly coming out of, you know, not really giving a fuck that this person has been rejecting you and ignoring you. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups here. So maybe you're looking at it like, um, you ever like look at a situation that's really bad and then as time goes on, you're kind of like, thank God that happened. So it could be like you're kind of in this energy of like, okay, like it didn't work out with you. Yeah, you treated me like that, but it is what it is, you know, and uh, thank God that that didn't work out. Um it could also be that maybe whoever this person was, you didn't care. And um, it could be that you didn't care because you were more concerned about yourself. So, like, what I'm picking up is, like, you, you, you're in this energy of, like, you really don't rely on anyone else to make you happy. Like, you feel emotionally fulfilled within yourself. If that makes sense. Let me see. Yep, I just talked about that. So, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So, it's like, whoever this person is, you don't care anymore. Because with the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups here, it's like, you feel good on your own. You realize that you really don't need anyone to make you happy. You're independent. You rely on yourself for validation. You don't rely on validation in other people. And it looks like you're you're finding happiness by being with your friends and your family and socializing like you're doing your own thing it could also be you friend zoning this person like you just really don't give a fuck okay but it looks like there's going to be more equal give and take in your love life so it could be that you guys are like maybe maybe by like you acting this way it could make the person um treat you better like a lot of times when we know when we no longer allow someone to treat like shit it's like it makes them respect us more so it could be like this person like offering you more equal give and take or it could just be like you saying you know what i'm not going to deal with anybody unless they treat me uh treat me fairly i'm not going to deal with people unless there's equal give and take there um with the seven of pentacles being there <sighs> that can talk about like you feeling like you've invested your time and your energy and your resources into this person and maybe you felt like you were waiting for things to pay off like waiting for things to move forward but i feel like you're taking on the energy of kind of like i'm not worrying about it anymore like it's like you're open to see what will happen but you're not worried about it so whoever this person is that you felt rejected by, it's like you no longer feel rejected because you don't care as much because now you feel emotionally fulfilled within yourself and you're feeling fulfilled by being around your family and friends. And now this person, it seems like they're trying to like come around and give you more equal give and take. And instead of like telling a person, well, fuck you, it is what it is. Like you're choosing to be like, okay, like let, we'll see where this goes. It's kind of that attitude. Okay. Yeah, like you've come to completion. You've ended a cycle. Okay? Um and you're moving forward. You're progressing forward. Whatever is coming towards you is going to be expansion, it's going to be growth. You're leaving this behind and a lot of things are changing quickly for you. Um and I'm seeing back and forth communication between you and this person. So like I said, it's like once you no longer care and once you no longer are feeling rejected, 
and you coming out of this energy of not really like holding on to this person, ignoring you, it's like things improve for you. Okay. So, how does this person feel about my cancers? Okay, so this person does have their guard up. That's probably why you felt like you were being rejected by them. Um, I do feel like this person is keeping secrets from you as well. That could be another reason why you felt rejected by them. But I'm also seeing um, them feeling like you, you're the type of person that likes to debate a lot. So maybe the conversations that you guys have, it causes them to pull back. It causes them to be defensive or to have their guard up. But this person is very indecisive. Like they're trying to decide like what they're going to do with this situation. Because like I said, you no longer care, right? So they're trying to figure out like what path to take with you. They're trying to figure out like what kind of action should they take towards you. Now, I feel like the action they're about to take is trying to build something with you. OK, and it's because they are realizing that you are a solid person, that you are stable, that you have a lot to offer and you do represent some sort of stability in their life. OK, so look at that two of cups. So it's like when you no longer care, that's when they come running. That's when they want a new start with you. But they still have their guard up. So be careful. OK. And they're, and they're kind of acting from a place of anxiety because they see you no longer care that they rejected you. That's what I'm seeing, all right? So, cancers, just be careful. Like I said, a lot of times when you no longer care that someone's rejecting you, that's when they all of a sudden, you know, want to act right. Don't fall for the flim flam, the hokey doke. But anyways, cancers... I'm going to end this reading here and I will see you in the next one.